We are gonna get started today in child's pose. You bring your big toes touching, sit back on your heels, knees wide if you like. Walk your hands out. Press your forehead onto the mat if you can. Option to bring a block under your head as well. Sit your heels, sit back onto your heels as much as you can. Take a breath in and a breath out. Drop your elbows to the mat. Close your eyes if that feels good. Just start to notice your breath flowing in and out of your nose. No need to deepen it or make it go any faster. Just recognizing that it's there for us. Start to find your stillness. Let the day go, whether it's the beginning or the end. Allow yourself to be present on your mat. To only focus on the here and now. Take a breath in. Sigh it out your mouth. Another breath in, sigh it out. One more breath in through your nose and sigh it out your mouth. On your next inhale, come up off of your heels, press up to tabletop pose. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Take a breath in, arch your belly, look up, cow pose. And breathe out, cat pose, round your back, look down, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, cow, look up, arch your back. And exhale, cat pose, round your back, press off of your mat, drop your gaze. Inhale, cow. Press all 10 finger pads into your mat. Exhale, cat. Inhale, come back to tabletop pose, flat back. Take one more breath in here. And a breath out. Press your shoulders away from your ears. On your next inhale, lift your right hand high, palm facing the side. And exhale, bring your right arm back behind you. Inhale, reach forward, extend. Exhale, drop your arm back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, back. Inhale, extend. This time, exhale, stay here. Step the left foot back. Option to lift it up off of your mat if you'd like. One long straight line of energy. Bring your belly button up toward your spine. Take another inhale, lift up. Exhale, crunch it in, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in, hold it here, hold it here, lift up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hand and knee to mat. One cat cow. Inhale, look up cow. Exhale, round cat. Inhale, back to tabletop pose. Exhale. Inhale, lift your left arm. Palm facing the side. Exhale, drop it back, lift back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. 
Inhale, forward bicep closer to your ear. Exhale, step your right foot back, option to lift it high. Flex that back foot, take another inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee, round your back. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze it in, hold it here, hold it here, you got this. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hand and knee to mat. One cat and cow at your own pace. Your own breath. And come back to tabletop pose once you are ready. Take an inhale, lift your right arm high out to the side this time, reaching up toward the sky. Exhale, thread it under. Don't come all the way down onto your shoulder though. Inhale, open up wide. Exhale, thread it under, reach, reach, reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, under. Inhale, open. Exhale, under. Inhale, open. Exhale, under. Hold it here for a moment. Drop all the way down onto your shoulder. Reach forward, feel this stretch. Maybe bring your left hand behind you into a little bit of a twist. Look up at the sky. Try to keep those hips square down to the mat. Take one more breath in. And one more breath out. Bring your left hand to the mat if you brought it behind you. Press off your mat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Cat and cow at your own pace. Come back to tabletop pose once you are ready. This time, left hand goes up. Inhale. And exhale, thread it under. Don't touch it all the way down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, thread it. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread. Inhale, open up, twist open. Exhale, thread. Hold it here for a moment. Drop all the way down onto your shoulder. Maybe take this right arm, bring it into a half bind behind your back. Twist open, look up at the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't forget that. One more inhale. Exhale, bring that right arm around. Press off your mat. Inhale, open up, reach high to the sky. Hey, hey. And left hand to your mat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, come back to tabletop pose. Tuck your back toes. Lift up, plank pose. Wrists under shoulders. You may need to adjust a little bit. Press those heels back. Bring your shoulder blades together. Belly button toward the spine. Flat back, one long straight line of energy. You got this. You can be here, you can drop your knees at any time. Whether we're in high plank, going down to chaturanga, up to you. This is your yoga practice. You do what is best for you. I'll be making suggestions that is all that they are. Spread your fingers wide on your mat. Press your finger pads into your mat. Hold here, you got this. Take an inhale. And an exhale, drop to your knees or just shift forward, chaturanga. 90 degrees, elbows directly next to your ribs, flip to the top of your feet, lower the hips all the way down. Gentle, uh, cobra, press up, arch your back, tuck your back toes, press your hips up, downward facing dog. Melt your chest toward the mat, maybe bend into one knee, bend into the other. Get some little opening here as we head into our, or as we are in our first downward facing dog of the practice. Bend your knees if that feels good. Really open up the chest. Press your chest forward, open up the shoulders. Take another inhale. And exhale, melt your heels back towards your mat. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot forward, low lunge. Hang here for a minute, inhale. Lift your chest, option if you have blocks, bring them on either side of your foot, lift your chest up even higher. Take an inhale, and exhale. Lift all the way up, crescent lunge. Inhale, lift high, reach those fingertips high. Right knee over right ankle, left heel is pressing back. Hips are tucked under, belly button towards spine. Inhale, exhale, drop that knee, hover, don't touch. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Inhale up. 
exhale, drop. Inhale up, stay here. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Spin that back foot open. Line up your heels or your front heel with your back arch. Front arm reaching, back arm reaching, stretching as far as we can go. Take an inhale. Exhale, flip your front palm, reverse warrior, stay here. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, drop that right hand all the way down, extended side angle, press on the outer edge of your back foot. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, flip your front palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, drop your hand, extended side angle. Always the option to come into side angle with your forearm on the inner thigh. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Drop the left hand to the mat. Bring your right hand on the other side of the foot. Chaturanga. Drop down 90 degrees. Flip, easy upward facing dog. Or right back to that cobra. And roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Hang here, grab your blocks, up to you. Take an inhale, really settling into this pose here. Lifting the chest, opening up the chest. Sorry, I think I just hit my microphone. I heard a little static there for a second. Inhale, exhale, lift up, crescent lunge. You know the drill, drop those shoulders, reach those hands high. Hand, feet are in two separate lanes, so you have plenty of space. You're not feeling like you're balancing on a balance beam here. Inhale, exhale, drop the back knee to a hover. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, stay here, open up warrior two. Line up those heels. Back foot at 90 degrees, reaching front and back. Take an inhale. Exhale, flip the front palm, reverse warrior, lean back. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, all the way down, extended side angle. We're staying up here, left forearm, inner side of the thigh. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, using that core, boy. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, lean back, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, hang here, hang here. Drop the right hand, left hand on the outside of your left foot, bring it back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Once you get here, lift your right leg high, Inhale, exhale, bring it in knee to nose. Try to touch that nose with that knee. Inhale, extend out. Bring it in knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, nose. Hang here, bring it over to your right tricep. Back to your nose. Left tricep, twist it. Back to your nose. Right, nose. Left, nose, right. Nose, left, nose, hang it here, hang it here. Extend all the way back, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open up your hips. One hip stacked on top of one another. Breathe in, breathe out, drop your right foot. Take an inhale, lift onto your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Step or jump. When you get there, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, inhale, rise all the way up. Reach high. Exhale, lean back, cactus the arms, look behind you. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, lean back, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, hinge at the hips, all the way down, slight bend in your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Roll over your toes, lift your hips high. Melt your heart into your mat. 
inhale, lift your left foot high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Hang it here. Over to your left tricep. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right, twist it. Exhale, nose. Left, nose, right, nose, left, nose, right, nose. Hang it here, hang it here. And extend back, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open up your hips. Take an inhale and an exhale. Drop your left foot. Inhale on your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, hands on the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Clasp your hands together. Press your fingers away. Lift your arms high. Swaying palm tree. So you can keep clasped like this or flip them up toward the sky. Lean right, inhale. Lean left, inhale. Lean right, inhale. Lean left, inhale. Lean right, inhale. Last one, lean left. Inhale, exhale, drop your hands to the side. Forward fold, hinge at the hips, bend all the way down, flat back, and last minute, drop your head. Split your feet, let your head hang heavy. Grab your opposite elbows, bend your knees. Forward fold, ragdoll pose. You can find stillness. You can sway side to side, totally up to you. And close your eyes if you'd like. Feel your heart beating. Core working, legs working, arms working. Just allowing our body to be right now. Release your elbows. Inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale. Place your right foot all the way on the right side of your mat. Both hands on the inside of your right foot. Step your left foot back. Lizard lunge. Drop your back knee. If you have a block or something, a couple pillows, folded blankets, whatever you got, you can put that on the inner side of your right foot. Right knee over right ankle. Inhale, lift your chest high. Exhale, you can bring your hands to the mat or drop down to your forearms or maybe use a block of some sort. Let your body hang out here for a little bit. We worked our core, but man, did we use our legs with it, huh? <laughs> if it feels good, you can turn your right foot out to the side, toes off your mat. Drop your right knee over to the right side. Even though we're relaxing into this pose, try not to collapse into your shoulders. See if you can still keep your neck long. And close your eyes if you'd like. Maybe you notice your breath starting to slow. The beating of your heart coming back to a normal pace. Maybe you notice something different. Whatever it is, just notice it. Recognize it. Take it all in. How often do we allow ourselves time to do that, right? On your next inhale, nice and slowly, press both hands into the mat, 
Lift with a flat back. Step your right foot back. Maybe shift your hips back a little bit. Come to both, onto both knees. And then you're gonna come all the way down onto your belly. Then press up so you're on your forearms. Both hands are pressing into the mat. Shoulders are away from your ears. Elbows directly underneath your shoulders. And if you're not sure, you wanna do a quick check, cross your arms. If you can grab onto your elbows where your hands are placed now, then your elbows are good to go. Directly under your shoulders or in Sphinx pose. Extend your feet back. Tops of the feet just resting into the mat. Feeling this back bend, opening up the chest, the shoulders, the lower belly, getting an arch in our back. Press your shoulders away from your ears. This pose is still quite active, as you can feel. Make sure you're not clawing into your mat though. Give it a break. Rest your hands on the mat, still pressing with your fingertips a bit. Take an inhale. And exhale, spread your elbows all the way out to the side. Drop your forehead to the mat. Let your head hang either on top of your finger on top of your hands or all the way down to the mat. It's your choice. Inhale back to Sphinx pose. Bring your elbows back underneath your shoulders. <sighs> Fingers reaching toward the front of your mat. The crown of your head is reaching up and out. Shoulders are pressing down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. And this time you're going to walk your hands back. Come up on into your tabletop pose and step forward into lizard lunge. Left foot all the way on the left side of your mat. You can come up onto your back foot if you'd like, just to get a little opening for a second, then drop your back knee. Set up how you'd like for your lizard lunge. Come onto the top of your foot, either inhale, lift your chest high, bring your hands to the mat or your forearms or somewhere in between with a block or a couple books or pillows, whatever you got. Option to turn the left foot out to the side, bring your left knee out to the side, whatever feels best for you right now. Just try to keep your back nice and long. So if your forearms are on the mat, but you're rounded down like this, that's not what we're going for quite today. We wanna to try to have a nice long spine. As human beings, we tend to collapse into our bodies quite often, especially if many of us are working from home right now, we may be sitting a little bit more than usual. So try to keep that spine nice and long. Extend the crown of the head forward to try to help with that spine length, if you will. And it's okay and perfectly normal, really, if this side feels a little different than the other side. Maybe you have more opening, maybe you have less. Whatever it is, it's perfect for you right now. Maybe close your eyes and scan through your body and just see how each part feels as you take it all in. Do this mentally. You can say it out loud if you'd like. Head, neck, shoulders, arms, fingertips, chest, upper back, belly, low back, hips, thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles, feet, toes. That's the abbreviated version, pretty quick. 
On your next inhale, push, push both hands into the mat. Remove your block or whatever you had if you have them. And you're gonna come all the way back. Leave your left foot where it is. Maybe walk your feet in and your knee in so that they're more in a straight line instead of your left foot all the way over to the left. Come into a half split. Another option if you have blocks or something to support you here. Spine nice and long. Take another inhale and exhale. Maybe flex the foot if you haven't done that already. Left hip over your left knee. Inhale, step your left foot back. Bring your right foot forward, half split with your right foot forward. Sink back, draw that right, that right hip back. Left hip is over your left knee. Flex the right foot, lift the chest, bring the shoulder blades together, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Please can be down toward your mat, toward your foot. Take an inhale. Flex that foot a little bit more. Exhale, stay. Inhale, bring your right foot back. Remove your blocks. If you have a block or a couple pillows or a couple folded blankets, just grab one of them. You're gonna place it just over to the side for now. Come all the way down onto your back and extend your legs long, your arms long, long body stretch. And exhale, release. Bring both feet to the mat. Lift your hips and you're gonna take that block or whatever you have that resembles something like this, place it underneath your sacrum, the very bottom of your spine. And you can find this whatever height feels the best. Maybe start on the lowest one, see what we're doing now. You're gonna extend your legs out long, extend your arms overhead waterfall or maybe you bring your arms out to a T or down however you want to feel this pose and this opening if you want to go up a little bit higher onto your blocks just make sure that it's secure and sturdy before you straighten your legs and you have the option to stay here in supported bridge as well with your knees bent feet flat, flat on the floor so Find that spot where it's gonna feel the best for you. Feel that opening. Bring your arms where you like and take a breath in and a breath out. Release all of the tension. Close your eyes if you'd like. inhale walk your feet flat on your mat bend your knees press off your feet to lift your hips remove the block you can take that block and put it place it between your knees if you have it or your pillow or whatever it is leave your feet flat on the mat take an inhale open up your arms into a T and exhale lean your knees over to the left 
leave your knees stacked. If this doesn't feel good with the block, of course, you can just take it off and then find whatever works best for you. Sometimes it just gives that little extra support that you might need. You can try that out. Maybe turn your gaze over to the right and close your eyes if it feels good. and slowly use that core come back to center and exhale drop your knees over to the right extend your gaze over to the left if that feels good make any adjustments that are necessary and come back and find your stillness once again Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bring that block if you have it into your feet. One more surprise pose for you. Extend your feet up ahead. You don't need the block between your feet, but if you want it, you can put it there. See how it feels. Extend your legs out long. Flex your feet. Press your feet toward each other to really grab onto that block, the pillow, whatever you have. Straighten your legs, take an inhale, and an exhale, drop your legs all the way down so that your feet are just hovering. Lift your shoulder blades off of your mat, flip your palms skyward, low boat pose. Inhale, high boat, lift up. Exhale, stay. Inhale, exhale, stay. Inhale, exhale, stay. You got this. We got Shavasana after this. You can do it. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop just to low boat. Low boat, leave them up, leave them up. Hover, hover, hover. One more inhale. Exhale, stay. Inhale, last one. Exhale, release everything onto your mat. Shavasana. If there's anything you'd like to do before setting up for Shavasana, go ahead and do that now. Otherwise, whenever you're ready, flip your palms skyward. Spread your feet out however feels comfortable. Let your toes fall out to the side. Tuck your chin, tuck your shoulder blades under. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, close your eyes, Shavasana pose. You are more than welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. Continue breathing. Continue being mindful of your body. Continue resting and relaxing. And once you are ready, just make some small movements and bring your knees into your chest. You can roll over onto your right side and then sit up. And if you're not ready, just stay exactly where you are until whenever you decide that you're ready to move out of your Shavasana pose. Amazing job today. See you next time.